Okay, today I am going to try another really out of my comfort zone experiment. I did this clock face a few days ago and it warped as it was drying, but as it sat and dried further, it was, it was, um, it flattened out a little bit. So I am going to try and paint the numbers on it today. I'm going to use my airbrush. There's the airbrush right there. I'm going to try and use this. I've got this template with the numbers and everything else on it. What I did was, you can't see it too well, but I had some plastic. Those of you that buy 16 by 20 canvases from Michael, sometimes you'll see a big old sheet of, of plastic in there somewhere, usually separating a couple of the, the uh, canvases. And you can see it down here. I cut some of that. I cut a circle out of the middle one of them to block any overspray that might come out around the edges out here. And uh, hopefully that won't, I won't get any air spray overspray out of it. I'm using black paint. I got some airbrush paints in from Amazon, and I'm going to give it a shot. So you all wish me luck here. Don't know how well this is going to work, but hopefully it'll work well. I'm not very adept at with uh, the airbrush. I haven't had a whole lot of practice with it. I'm trying to hold it down with my, my left hand here so that uh, it doesn't flop all over the place while I'm trying to paint. Can't really say I know how well this is going to come out because I don't. I've never done this before. But I guess I'll find out soon. This template I got, I don't know if Amazon. And the reason I picked this one out is uh, I'm doing this clock for someone that wanted the, uh, the little marks between the numbers for the second marks, and uh, it's the only one I could really find. There were there were several of them. I suppose if I looked a little bit longer and searched everything a little bit more. I probably could have found something different. This one looked like it was pretty good. Got all the numbers and kind of ornate looking. And I guess we'll find out when this is all said and done if it looks okay. But I'm, I've watched a couple of videos on airbrushing, and I haven't really done a whole lot of it, so I, I can't say I know all the intricacies of working with an airbrush. I've practiced a little bit on just some cardboard, just to uh, get used to the trigger on this thing. Hopefully I've had enough practice with it where it'll, it'll come out looking nice. I want the numbers to be dark to stand out against the, the colors on the clock itself. And I also want them to be bold because the person going to be using this is also going to be using it for uh, Helping kids learn how to read. 
an analog clock instead of a digital clock. Getting a little low on paint. Seems like it. We'll put some more in there. Let me take a look. Well, no, it's still got quite a bit in there. I'm going to try and turn this a little bit so I can work with it a little bit more easily. Just turn my puppy piddle pad here a little bit. As always, I'm not talking very much. I'm concentrating so much on this. Afraid if I talk too much, I'll goof it up really bad. I probably will anyhow, but at least uh, by not talking, I can't use that as an excuse. And I'll probably uh, let this set for a little bit before I pull it off. Or maybe even come back in and do a another coat before I take it off. I don't know. I don't know what's going to be right and what isn't right. I've seen some amazing things on YouTube. People doing uh, airbrush painting, specifically on a canvas where they try and do planets and stars and stuff like that, which I want to try at some point. I just got to get a little bit better at it, a little steadier hand with it. Hopefully I'll uh, get the knack of this after a while. Well, I think I will just pause my video for the time being. Let that dry a little bit. And come back and do a second coat on it just to make sure I've gotten all the areas covered. Oops, sorry. Hit the phone with my head. Actually, I've got the phone on a selfie stick taped to the top of my 
shelf up here to try and get an overhead look at it. But I think it looks pretty cool. So I'm just going to pause and I'll be back in a little bit. See ya. Okay, I'm back. I waited about 10, 15 minutes. And I'm going to just do another light coat over all that. Just to make sure that I didn't miss anything. I hope this turns out nice. I really do. Not only for the person that's going to be getting it, but for my own education and practice, I'll be able to, the more I work with this, the more, the better I'll get. Just like anything else. I think that's good enough. I'll go ahead and pull the template off now and just see what it looks like. Well, that's not bad at all. I think it looks pretty good. Let me move this out of the way. Let me turn this back around where the I can see the numbers a little bit better. And it looks good in the picture too. Pull it up this way a little bit. A little bit more in frame. My hand. Take my outside off here. My head is in the way, I'm sorry. Alright. I thought it looked pretty good. I'm happy with it. I didn't get any overspray, which was I was a little concerned about. Get these gloves off. And I'll bring you in for a close-up. Hang on. All right, I'm back. Came out pretty nice, I think. I see a couple of spots that might have got a little heavy or a little light. But overall, I think it came out pretty nice, actually. flash on
I'll wait a day or so and probably put a coat of resin on this and then let that, that cure before I put the uh, the clock works actually into it but other than that I think it looks pretty good let me know what you think thanks for watching bye